Hello Chatterbox out there, I hope you are having a lovely relaxing Sunday. Today in this video I'm just going to be telling you guys about what I got to on my Sunday so far. So this morning I got ready for the day ahead and had a nice refreshing shower and I had my breakfast and went onto Facebook, Twitter and Instagram and listened to the radio and sorted out my blue dot dolls and got them ready. They are all colour coordinated and looking like a band and they look awesome. And I put them away and then left out my main Peter doll to sort her out later on. Worked on my books, it was a description to a nice word, doll slash slash game. And my dad was at rugby, so is my older sister, and my younger brother was at work, so is my younger sister. My mum got my younger sister from work, and she got back with her, and they watched Big Bang Theory Season 10 episodes with me when I sorted out my Peter dolls. And for my lunch, I had a cheese and pickle toasty and went on to Instagram and posted some Instagram pics of some nature footage because I'd been on a nature walk and booked it to all of my mates and sat on a bench with my backpack and did some drawing because I had my notepad with me. And then I got back, uploaded those, and my older sister got back from being at rugby and her and her boyfriend have gone back up to her boyfriend's house to, and she's staying there. And my younger brother went to get his girlfriend from work and my younger brother and his mates had been out in town last night and his one of his mates, our family friend, had stayed over and he stayed and chatted with us and let a good catch up and then he went off home and I had some cinnamon graham cereal and watched some dog tutorials and some vlogs and some old soap stuff like Wally Road Skins and watched Henry and Neighbours and some American team dramas and watch some stuff off BBC Player, Put Locker, Record and Catch Up and watch Dot 2, Tortured, Astro Adventures, Merlin Charmed and some other sci-fi stuff like that and also watch Downton Abbey and some other period dramas like Sons of Sublimity, Pride of Prejudice and also watch Pride of Prejudice and Zombies getting into Halloween spirit of things and watch some Halloween and Christmas fun I watched Hocus Pocus and Sabrina the Teenage Witch episodes and watched Love Act I love that film so much. It's such a lovely film. I watched Anime Three One and Two. I'm not so sure. I'm not so keen on the second Anime Three. I prefer the first one to the second film. I watched some Scooby Doo classic episodes and some classic Dot Two episodes in black and white. I've watched every single Dot Two episode ever now. I've even watched some of the episodes that went missing. So yeah, I just love Dot Two so much. I can't wait for the Christmas special and watch them soap stuff and read my soap mag catched up on the soap gossip I read a vote magazine and did some fashion designing and illustrating and watched my froggy stuff Sam Mickey and some beauty inside the box YouTube videos and some farming more of two hooked up chara and Zoella videos and partners blog videos and some amazing film videos I love YouTube so much and I love I just watched YouTube so much and I watched some old soap episodes and some DVDs and listened to some CDs and vinyl and listened to a bit of Shania Train and Kylie and Daft Punk and Duran Duran and listened to some 80s music and I got myself ready for tomorrow. Last week of work placement before half term. This term has just gone so fast, it's nuts. I've enjoyed it so much, I've had so much fun. I can't wait to just have a lovely rest because it's just been so busy and I've been loving it. It'd be good to put my feet up because we have to rest. I've been having quite a good night's sleep because it's been so busy. And having, I had a good lion this morning. I haven't really been having lions for a while because I've just been in college mode. So I've been getting up early every day to get the bus. So I've just been getting up early. But it's good because then you can get lots of things done. And yeah, I've been... Just resting today, it's been a nice day. There has not been too bad, so I was able to go on a little walk, split my legs, then went out in the garden and threw the tennis ball for my dog Haas. And my dog Haas was getting a bit cranky because he always gets a bit anxious when my dad goes out. My dad's back now, my dad went and had a rest, and my dog Haas went off and went off to bed too. And I sorted out my office where I've been working on my book series and tidied that up a bit and sort out my dog game slash show set because that got a bit messed up from what I've been playing in my dog game slash show last night very dramatic, very halloweeny and 
then I edited some vlogs and then I watched some D old DVDs that I haven't watched in ages and I watched Tosses Creek episodes and watched the Bill episodes and watched some old Casualty Doctors and Hobby episodes and watched Don't Call the Midwife and I watched some Harry Potter DVDs some of the Harry Potter films I watched Lord of the Rings I watched Ever After and some stuff I thought called BBC I put, put Locker and off Netflix and watched Riverdale season one and can't wait for the second episode of season two of Riverdale to come out the first episode of season two was so dramatic the ending was nuts and I'm loving it so much I just love Riverdale so much and I watched some Torchwood episodes and some Dot 2 DVDs that I've got and watched Love Rosie, Tangled and Beastly and Maleficent and watched Angus Fox and Purpose Doggin and Wild Child and some other DVDs like that and tied up around the house and tied up the kitchen like Cinderella I am and I also worked on some new songs and scripts and stories for my Dose Slash game and it's getting very dramatic and worked on my book series book four almost book five I can't believe how many books I've written out of my book series I was only gonna originally write one and it was when I was in year nine we were told to write a short story and from that it just escalated into this massive book series and I've just been writing it ever since and I love it so much it was over year nine or eight but it was quite a while ago so I've been writing this book series for quite a long time and I deserve a pat on the back I think for sticking with it and writing it for so long and I'm really loving it I love my book series so much I'm very proud of it it's my little baby as you say and my writing inspiration are J.K. Rowling, Jackie Russell and Limerick I love their style of writing, I just love their books, they're just great. And yeah, I just love it. I think the illustrator that illustrates for J.K. Jackie Russell is called Nick Clegg. I think that's his name. That's the illustrator that if I did become a famous author or ever get my books published, I want him to illustrate for my books because he's such a great illustrator. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Nick Clegg. I follow him on Twitter because it was World, like World Illustration Book Day and I tweeted about him and he liked my tweet so I like, got noticed. I do get noticed by quite a few various people on Twitter now so that's, yeah, that's really good that they actually notice us and they like my tweets. Like Danny would have liked one of my tweets the other day and I, I an actor from Amadale who I have met who I am a tad bit obsessed with because he's just such a lad and he liked my tweet at first because I've had loads of like fan accounts of Danny Miller's liking lots of my tweets and retweet my tweets I didn't think much of it and then I looked again and saw the blue tick and was like oh my gosh and I was literally lost for words well you know about that because I talked about that in another vlog but yeah it's just crazy I still can't believe it I posted a photo of the screenshot onto Instagram and I still whenever I see it I'm always like oh my gosh I still can't believe he liked my tweet He's seen me, probably thinks I'm a psycho because I'm just a bit crazy, but the best people are. And yeah, I watched some Cory episodes and some other soap stuff like that. I watched As the World Turns and some other American teen dramas like that. I love teen dramas over in America because they're always so over the top and dramatic. I love it. I, the more dramatic and over top, the better. And I played Minecraft and COD and played on the Wii and on Buzz and played Spoons, Cheat, Ludo, Sorry, Snake and Labs and some other kinds of board games with my siblings. It gets pretty competitive but yeah it's really lots of fun and I did some drawing and illustrating and some colouring in and did some puzzles and some word searches and stuff like that and I worked on some short stories that I'm working on and some episodes for my dog is last show and I'm going to kill off some of the characters to make way for some new dolls that I've got for my dog in show. And I sort out my dog in show because some of the set was in need of some repair. And I am just sorting out my office and I worked on my book series and I'm getting to a really exciting dramatic part. I'm not sure what I'm having for tea yet. I think I'm having a waste of dinner and that should be nice. And... Yeah, I 
got my bag and stuff ready for tomorrow, so I might sign all my faces for oh god. Oh god. So I've done I woke up this morning and I literally looked awful. I look a lot better now. I was, I was just really tired and just felt awful. Thankfully, a lot of cuts here have made me feel better. My hair looked awful, but I think this my hair looks actually quite decent now. It wasn't looking very good. It was, it was sticking up everywhere and it looked awful. And yeah, I watched some YouTube vlogs to get some inspiration for some new YouTube video ideas. Because I know I may look like I, I'm on top form and I always have good ideas for vlogs. To be honest, I just bring it. I was sat here in front of you talking about anything. And pretend it just pops into my noggin. And yeah, I watched them. Malik and Wobble and stuff and watched Wobble from day one till now and the, the Wobble on hiatus but I'm so excited because Wobble and Alan are going to get back together at Christmas cannot wait for that my Christmas present dream has come true I'm so happy that they're getting back together at Christmas and then they're getting married in June well in summer hopefully June if they got married on my birthday it would be a drink or two, we're about to see June, so that would be great if they did get my then. But Adam is leaving, and people were saying that apparently he's something to do with Emma's death. I really hope he doesn't. I hope he just moves on because he gets a new job or because he moves on because of something else. I want him to move on to do something good, not because of something bad. And I hope he doesn't leave before Robert and Alan's wedding. I want him to be Alan's best man. He needs to be at the wedding, or well, hopefully he does. And yeah, I had a cup of tea, and I am now off. And I had a snack and watched some friends episodes and some other episodes of some teen comedy stuff. And watched Teen Beach Movie and some other Disney stuff and Disney Descendants. The second one is going to be on Disney Channel on. The second one is going to be Disney Channel on the 20th, so I've got that ready to record. I cannot wait for the second one to to see that, because it did it was on Disney Channel a while back, but I was on holiday at the time, so I didn't get to see it, because I forgot to record it, so I can't wait to watch that for the 20th. And I'm now off to go finish sorting out my boot up dog, and watch some classic Doctor Who episodes. I hope you've all had a lovely relaxing Sunday and all have a lovely week ahead and I shall see you out with a new video. Bye!